everybody, welcome back to Board Game O'Clock, where it's always time for board games. Today we've got a very special game lined up for you, but just before that, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that like button, so we got lots more board game content coming your way. So without further ado, here is our game today, Can't Stop. Great game for the whole family to play this one. Very simple, quite luck based, but it is really nice, can lead to some exciting finishes. Here we go, we got three players playing in this game, we got ourselves in the green. We've got Brutes Banner in the yellow from the USA, and we have Erica Games in red. Not sure where Eric is from, but there we go, there's our players, there's our lineup, and we'll be teaching you a wee bit how to play as we go along. So Erica has start us, started us off and gotten off to a nice start, heading up those, those ropes to the top. So it's our, our turn. We've got our three markers and we get to choose which ones we're going to go up. Let's go up five and five. And let's keep going. Ooh, eight and eight. Where are we going to go? Let's go five and six. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to risk it. I've um, got five and six again. One more. Let's go one more. That'll do. That'll do for now. Let's explain what's, what's just happened. We've got three markers here. And on our turn, we get to place them on these ropes. And then we can either choose to keep going by hitting continue. And, and continuing, you risk it all. So if you can't go up any of the ropes, you lose all of your progress. But you could get lucky and continue to go up. So it's a push your luck game. Do you want to keep going and risk it all? Or do you want to stop and save your progress? So how do you go up on the branches? Well, as you can see, you've got 2 to 12 here. You've got 11 different branches in total. And they are all the sums of the dice that you can get when you roll two different dice. So you roll four dice in total. And you take two of the four dice and you add them up and then you take the other two dice and add them up and they're the ropes that you can go up on so here erica's rolled a two three five all right we'll see it we'll see it better on our turn so four and four make eight and two and four make six okay here we go we'll see it easier on our turn when we play here we go we've rolled four dice five three three and six so if you add up the five and the three you get eight and the three and the six, you get a nine. So we could go up on eight or nine. But then if you orientate the dice differently, you get different numbers. So this one, if you go three and three, you get six. Six and five, you get 11. So we, we have a choice which ones we want to go up. I'm going to pick nine and eight. And you can see two of our markers have gone on the, on the nine and the eight. And we've got one in reserve here. So we could pick the two or the four. They're our only options based on the rolls on the dice we've rolled let's take the f let's take the two it's a not a very common one so you don't have very far to go let's let's just go one more i'm playing it quite cautiously to start this game off but as you can see the the road to the top isn't as hard in these less common numbers because and using two dice to roll, it is a 1 in 36 chance of rolling a 2. Same with a 12, just a 1 in 36 chance. But to roll a 7, it's just a 1 in 6 chance. So to balance out that, that luck, you have a lot further to go in the 7 than in the 2 or the 12. Now the aim of the game is to get to the top of these ropes. And when you get to the top, that whole rope becomes yours and nobody else for the rest of the game including yourself can use that rope so if somebody got to the top of this six rope wouldn't matter if you rolled a six any time in the game you just wouldn't be able to go up that six rope at all so that becomes your rope and then the first one to get to the top of three ropes wins the game so it's a push your luck strategy game it is it is quite like base but nice and fun nice and simple nice and quick just a great game to play so how, how's things going so far eric is getting close to the top of the six rope hopefully she doesn't push much further 
because when you do get to the top, you do cut it off as an option for all other players, which makes it harder on everybody else. Now, look at this. I've got the 6, the 7, and the 8. Now, as I said earlier, the chances of rolling a 7 is just 1 in 6. Chances of rolling a 6 or an 8 are very good as well. So I've got lots of good numbers there. I'm going to try and push my luck and head to the top. Let's just keep going till we get to the top or we bust. Let's try and get the 8. Let's try and get the 8. We're so close on that one. Let's go until we get to the top. Oh, let's keep going. We could get unlucky, but let's keep going. I'm going to go the 6. There we go. So we got to the top of the 8. I'm going to stop right there. And look at that. That whole rope is ours now. So nobody can go there for the rest of the game. doesn't matter if somebody rolls an 8. They can't put their marker there because oh, that, that rope is all ours and... You can see we've got one point now, just another two to go, and the game is ours. So let's hope it goes our way. Now, in pushing your luck, you can, there, there, are, there is a circumstance in which all your markers are out, and the dice that you roll doesn't match up with any of the, look at that, that just happened. Not possible, not possible, not possible. So. If, if the numbers that you roll don't line up with the markers that you have on the ropes, then your turn is over and you lose all the progress that you made. So that's what I mean by it's a push your luck game. You gotta sometimes you gotta you gotta save your progress. But here Eric is looking good on that six. Just needs one more to get to the top of that. Surely that rope is Erica's. If she doesn't get there i might try and steal it from her but surely it just needs one more six to get to the top of there six is a common number to roll or oh, hasn't got there yet although getting close to the seven as well close to the 11 surely oh there we go got the six well done and she stopped so that six rope is all hers now we're one each with brood spanner still on nothing here we go. What's our plan now? Let's go up on that 9 and that 7. Two nice common numbers. We might be able to push our luck again. Try and get to the top. Let's take the 9. We've still got that one marker in reserve. Where are we going to go? Could take 9 and 7. Let's keep going on that 9 and 7. Keeps that one marker in reserve. And 2 and 7. Oh, and we're looking good on this 2 rope now as well. I might even stop there. I might even stop there. I don't want to lose that progress on that two. Just means we need to get one more two and we're at the top. There's nobody competing with us yet. Oh, look at that. That's so unlucky from Brood Spanner. So unlucky. As you can see there, barely, barely did they have any markers on the ropes at all. But I didn't see what they rolled, but they must have rolled a combination of six and eight because because they just they, they, they couldn't place their markers. That's really unlucky. But that's the advantage of getting these ropes early. Blocks uh, blocks uh, options for your opponents. And just like that, it's our turn again. Both of them got unlucky. We're looking for a two. Or well, where else could we go? That seven or the nine. Look at that. Let's go seven and nine again. Two common numbers so we can push ahead. We're looking for 7, 9 and maybe a 2. Look at that, 7 and 9 again. It's looking great for us. Just one more 9 and we'll get onto the top of that rope. Oh, 9 and 9. Look at that. And we are at the top. It is looking great for us. We're at the top of the 8 rope and the 9 rope now. Look at that. Two points for us. One for Erica Games. None for Brutes Banner. Brutes Banner's had a tough game. But that's great for us. Just one more two, and the game will be ours. If we can't roll a two, where else are we close? We're kind of there on the five. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm starting to feel bad for Brood Spanner now. Look at that. Another, another not possible. And that's how this game can go sometimes. There is luck involved. And you can get just a bit unlucky, which Brood definitely has this game. Not looking great, really, only on that 10, with the 5 and the 7 as well, but right down the bottom. 
Oh, Erika Games looking good on the seven. Oh no, hopefully she can't get that seven. Otherwise it'll be two each and it could go either way. See, Erika's on this two as well. And look at that, Erika's got the seven. Surely she'll stop here now. And look at that, yep. Yep, yep, that is neck and neck between us. Two each. Oh, look at this. And so many numbers are taken up now. Even though I still have one marker in reserve, lots of numbers are taken. So there's a high probability that I won't be able to progress. But we only need... Oh, yes, and we take it out. We only need one more rope. And that will do it. We've got to the top of the two rope. I'm going to stop right there. And that is three ropes for us. And that is the game. GG. Well played, everybody. And, th and that's it. That's the game. I'm going to give them a thumbs up because that was a great game. Hope you know how to play now. It's so simple. that A lot of fun. And it can lead to some exciting finishes. Definitely recommend out, uh, to, to get out and play this game. And maybe play with me next time on Board Game Arena. Get out there and play. It's it's just it's just great fun, and that's what it's all about. So, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for lots more board game content, and I'll see you next time.